What's up you guys? Keeping it real tarot here. Coming to you with a pick a card. Hope all is well with you. And hopefully this reading is useful to you. To my subscribers new and old, welcome back. If you are a subscriber and been subscribing from day one, what's popping with you? Because you like my old subscribers, my what will I call them, my foundational subscribers. So big up to you guys. If you're a visitor, welcome. Return visitors, welcome back. Today's title is, What is Your Reputation? So we're just going to see what your reputation is. Take with a plow, leave the rest. Timestamp is going to be in the description box and message box. And remember, this is how people see you. Doesn't necessarily mean it's true. So there's no need to get in your feelings. So we have three pals here. This will be pal one, pal two, pal three. I will give you crystals. For pal one, I'll use the clear quartz. For pal 2, I will use the jade. And pal 3, I will use the lapis lazuli. So, 1, 2, 3, clear quartz, jade, lapis lazuli. See you in pal 1. Pal 1, if you pick this deck and it's clear quartz, this is your reading. This is your pal. Shout out to you guys. Welcome back. Hopefully you guys are doing well and enjoying the summer because as you see the sun is blazing and it's nice outside. So hopefully you're taking in the sun, going to beaches or enjoying yourself however you join your summer. Shout out to my subscribers new or old. How are you guys doing? Hope all is well with you. If you're a visitor, welcome. Returning visitors, welcome back. And the title today is, What is Your Reputation? So we're going to get right to it. Take what apply and leave the rest. And yeah, this is just how people view you. Not to say it's necessarily true or false. It's just what people say. So, you have the Queen of Coins. You have the Four of Coins. You have the Two of Blades. So your reputation is somebody that is abundant. You are a very abundant person. You are someone who likes to um, take care of your body and eat fresh and healthy. Some of you probably have a green thumb and you sell goods. If you don't sell goods, some of you just have a natural green thumb and you make stuff for yourself and you give it away to people. Some people think that you're very, how can I say, you're very, you're a nice person that likes to share with people. You like to give people health tips. Some of you live on a farm for some of you guys. Some of you, if you do grow things, you could grow like carrots, mint leaves, you can make your own jams, you could have eggs, which means you have chickens on your farm, some of you have goats on your farm, but yeah, you look at as somebody that's very abundant, somebody that's grounded, somebody that's very helpful, somebody that is nice and sensual as well. You tapped into all the senses, if you don't know what that is, taste, smell, la la la, I don't feel like going down there, but I give you taste, smell. The next one is, well, I'm going blank now. Yeah, my brain is not there. I'm getting downloads. So you rule the five senses. Some of you could be Taurus. Another thing that um, your reputation is you hold back from people. You're very reserved. You're very serious about your money. You don't just like, you're not careless with your money. You're very mature when it comes to finances. you financially secure. Some of you guys... You like to keep yourself away from people. It's like you are your own, um, how, how, what's that saying? One, wait, how, what is that saying? A man can't be on his own island. Some of you, you like barricade yourself from people. If you don't barricade yourself from people, you like a popular loner. You don't like to be around people. You like to have time to do your own thing, to work on your own creative abilities. You also have um, the reputation for speaking up for yourself and, how can I say, guarding with guarding what is yours. You're very protective over what is yours and what you deem to be. You just have boundaries. You know how to put up boundaries with people. Some of you, you, you are considered like you have a reputation for being crabby or moody. Some of you could be like water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpios. Some of you also have a reputation of being somebody who can, um, is a good transactional person who could do business well. They don't mind doing business with you. They know that you're very 
honest person. You are somebody that is going to up and up. They, they don't think that you will rob them. You, you're not somebody who would just go out your way to rob somebody. People view you as somebody that's romantic as well. You have a reputation for being romantic. You could be a hopeless romantic. You also have a reputation of being very transformative. A lot of you transform or you have transformed your finances. You have transformed something in your life and you're known for this. A lot of you, not a lot of you, some of you, let's say some of you. Some of you could be Scorpios. Another thing about your reputation, you don't like foolery. You don't like people coming around with foolery playing in your face with their little immature games and stuff. It's strong that you have boundaries. You put boundaries up for people. Some people like to be around you, but you don't want them around you because you don't like their energy. Another thing about your reputation, people see that you have a uh, ability to make decisions quick and fast that needs to be made. If you need to make a, a, a decision on a whim, you're very good at doing that. You're very good at making decisions. You're good at pushing people away too. You're good at letting people deal with their own problems when it's necessary. But some of you will not open to hearing their bullshit all the time. If somebody want to come to you with their problems and you have things on your plate that you're dealing with, you're very good at telling them no, not right now. So you can actually say no to people. That's good because some people in life have a hard time saying no to people. You also have a reputation of if somebody is... You don't like people like pestering you or teasing you or being immature to a degree that's going to annoy you. You will cut people off for that. You won't even be around them. You ignore people like that. Now, with this Queen of uh, Pentacles and this Ten of Blades, it's like you have a reputation for some of you guys for people to try to prey on you for your money. People think you're very abundant, and they like to try to backstab you and betray you for your money. Some of you have a cat that's a spiritual guide to you that protects you. This is funny. You see how this cat is attacking, like trying to like defend him. I'll give you a personal story with me. I never give anybody on this YouTube thing personal stories with me, but this is funny. One day me and my brother, we was having like an argument or whatever. And he had pissed me off and my cat Smokey like attacked him just like that. Just wanted to attack Mo. Like get the fuck back from her. Don't even talk to her. I don't even like you like that. <laughs> <laughs> and the funny thing is, it's not funny, it's sad at the, at the same time. My cat was on his deathbed. I didn't even know it, but my cat was dying of cancer. Yeah, but my cat was a beast. My cat defended me to the dying day, and I loved him for it. His name was Smokey. I miss him. Okay, so enough of that. With the Ten of Blades, you have um, family members that, like, is mad at you because it seems like you're not helping them with their finances, and they want you to help them with their finances. Some of you have a lot of guys protecting you. People know that. People know that they can't betray you. Because if they do betray you, your guys is going to fuck them up. They're going to pay for that. Then you have the moon right here. So with the four pinnacles and the moon, your reputation is that people feel that you have money, but they don't know how much money you have. People see you as somebody that's a philanthropist. Somebody that take care of people, look out for people, somebody that's very helpful. You could be some an older female or older male. Even if you're homeless and don't have a, a lot, you still help people out. This is your reputation. That's cool. I like that. Shout out to you guys who are like that. You have a reputation for being very wise and young people like you. If you're an older person, young people like being around you. They think that you're cool. You have a nice style about yourself if you're older. Some of you like to wear plaid trench coats or plaid um, car coats. Or you just like plaid in general. With this Ace of Pentacles and Two of Blades, you know how to make a head over heart decision when it comes to your finances. Say, for instance, you're in a bind. You know how to take up side jobs. You're very... Uh, 
skillful, you could take up side jobs to help you with your bills, or you just somebody that's very skillful. Some of you could work in construction, whether you're male or female. You're very mechanically inclined. You somebody who have transformed your um, your finances for some of you guys. With this Ace of Pentacles as well, your reputation is um, that the universe helps you out. They always provide for you some way, somehow you always get provided for. You also have a reputation of being industrious. Some of you are like busy bees making honey. Some of you know how to make honey. Some of you have like, what do you call those? You could be a, a beekeeper for some of you guys. With this Ace of Coins and this Queen of Coins, people know that you, if they hire you to do a job, you know how to do your job. You're very detail-oriented. Some of you could be Virgos. You could be a Virgo or a Pisces. Let's start clarifying this. Um, what deck I'm use to clarify this? Uh, let's use this deck. This is fitting. Clarify this Queen of Pentacles. What is the money tree? You bred it. Your reputation is you bred it. Money just fall off the tree for you. Money grow on the trees for you. That's your reputation. You're very abundant. You're very grounded. You're very steady. You're very... Yeah. People think that you have a lot of money. Clarify this uh, four pinnacles. What is the reputation for power? Some of you work from home. Some of you are an entrepreneur. Some of you, like I said, you keep yourself away from people. Especially when it comes to your finances. You don't let people in your financial business. You don't... You know how some people just talk about their business recklessly? You don't talk about your business. You have boundaries. You, you're a person that believes that, you know, you're supposed to have boundaries. Like, you're not supposed to just go around telling your business. It's like, I find that very weird when I, I hear people just telling all their business. It's like, they just like uh, open, uh, open canister. It's like, I don't know. Clarify this Ace of Pentacles. What is the reputation of Pile 1? Multitasking and huge decisions. Yeah, like I said, you're somebody who is very abundant. You have endless abilities. Some of you could be the jack of all trades, master of them as well. If you have a child, you know how to juggle. You know how to multitask your work and home life. They like the way you take care of your children. You very, um, your children is, eats like, you feed your children a lot of vegetables and fruits and stuff like that. And that's in this card as well. Very, some of you are Virgos, Pisces, very healthy. You care about your health. You care about your child's health. You won't just feed them junk food and stuff like that. Or if you do give them junk food, it's a balance. You have huge decision as well. So, again, you guys are very great at making huge decisions. It's like, you know, you dial right in. You always know which, which way to choose. Some of you know how to dress. Like I said, you dress very well. Your reputation is to dress to impress. You're very snazzy. They like your swag. You always keep your hair done. Some of you can have, like, short bobs or long bobs as well. Some of you have long, wavy, beachy hair. Or if you natural, you just let your hair go natural. Some of you, your children are very natural as well. You have a reputation for being a good mom, a loving mother. Clarify these two of blades. What is the reputation? It says follow up and weekend sales. So some of you, you see how right here it says final notice? Some of you, when the way you dress, your clothes don't have to cost a lot of money. Some of you know how you have an eye for style. You have an eye for, for finding deals. That's your reputation for some of you. Some of you could be Leos as well. Some of you have like an avant-garde style or you put things together that normally wouldn't work for other people, but it works for you guys. Some of you, if you're a female, you know you wear business suits and the business suits work for you. It doesn't make you look masculine or anything. 
Some of you have a, a reputation for being a therapist or somebody could be a therapist or help people with mental issues or financial issues or just life issues. You have a reputation for people coming to you want, needing help. Some of you have a reputation for being an x-ray machine. So some of you could be a Scorpio. You know how to see through people. Uh, I want to clarify this a little more. What other deck I'll use? Clarify. Let's just jump out. Some of you are deep thinkers. You get caught in your head. People think that you daydream or you somebody that don't take life serious, but you take life serious. Just when people think that you not on this realm. You know how to um, go between realms, dimensions, if you know, you know. The toxicity, some is the bound to toxicity on the bottom when I'm trying to clarify this ten of blades. So some of um some of you have a reputation of being toxic, being very you you like to self-sabotage yourself. You like to some of you are on the streets. You like what would I say for the streets? And you like to rob people, you like to you hear that? You're very impulsive and very very impulsive and very, how can I say, you don't make good judgment. Sometimes it's like you guys self-sabotage yourself. Clarify this ten ablaze with this isolating thoughts. What is the reputation for pal one? Last messages. Yeah, you have a lot of ego. And this is this is crossing the um the ten of um the ten of blades with the ego and vanity. Some of you guys don't know yourself. This person that's riding up and down on that motorcycle, that dirt bike, don't know himself. But that's not what I'm saying. It's just the energy is really here. It's like some of you guys haven't transcended yet. You don't know yourself. You want people to see you all day long. You just like an energy vampire or you care about attention. You want people to see you and you just unnecessarily, you know, obnoxious for some of you guys. Now, it all can't be all positive. So I don't want to hear nobody getting uptight talking about it's, it's negative or whatever. Clarify this moon. I just see Neptune energy. Some of you could see through people. You very tapped in. Some of you could be a high priestess. What time is it? Yeah, I'm out of here. I gotta go to Pal Two. So if you have gotten something from this, like and or subscribe. Last message is: Some people think that you walk around with a lot of money, a lot of money that is like enough for them to like rob you. So if you do that and you're around, and even if you don't know if you're around toxic people or not, be careful of your surroundings. Be mindful of who around you because people think that you don't pay attention. People think that you in la la land. So just be a, a pay attention to that because all these cards that came out was a lot of pentacles and, and the blades was the ones transforming your, your money. So be aware of that if this is you guys. So again, I'm going to pal to like and subscribe till next time in tarot land. Okay, pile two, if you pick this deck, and if you pick this jade, this is your reading. Shout out to you guys. Hope all is well. Hopefully you're enjoying your summer, and hopefully this is useful to you to give you some, some understanding of what your reputation is through other people's eyes. So shout out to my subscribers, new and old. What's popping with you guys? Hopefully you're enjoying your summer. If you're a visitor, welcome. Returning visitors, welcome back. Take with a plot and leave the rest. I don't know it's going to come out necessarily. So, yeah. And this is what people think. That doesn't necessarily mean it's true. Okay? So let's go. And everything can't be positive like everything can't be negative. It has to be a fine balance. Well, that would be ideal. So let's go. Your reputation is you have the Two of Pentacles, you have the Ace of Wands, and then you have the World. Your reputation is with the two of pentacles is that you always juggling something. You always riding the highs and the lows of your emotions, but most of the times is a lot of highs going on. Like, how can I say this? With the two of pentacles, it's like you juggle a lot of things. A lot of emotions as well. I don't know why you juggle a lot of emotions. Some of you probably deal with a lot of people because you have the Two of Pentacles and then you have the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is somebody that's very passionate, somebody that's always looking for enthusiasm, not enthusiasm, but the, uh, how can I say? The Ace of Wands is about passion. People like to say it's a sexual card. Yes, it is a sexual card, but it's a card about passion, about 
how can I say, ambition. That's what I want. I use the word ambitious. So it's like you always juggling stuff because with this ace of wands, you are a type of person that is hard to please for some of you guys. You always have your eye looking at somebody else's stuff. You always like eyeing some, what somebody else is juggling. With the world here as well, the world is here, it's like, I'm being, I'm trying to weigh my words right now, measure my words. That's why you see I'm stuck and I'm starting like, like moving back and forth because I could just come out with it. But again, I'm trying to measure my words because I don't want anybody to get offended. People like to get sensitive and stuff like that. And yeah, so I'm going to say what I have to say. So, but I'm definitely not going to just try to be rude or that, nothing like that. So with this Ace of Wands, all right, let's do it this way. You see, you have the Ace of Wands. You have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. With the Ace of Wands and Nine of Pentacles in, in reverse, it's like you you don't, you look at situations like it's not good enough for you. Some of you are lazy. Some of you are never satisfied. People look at you like, because the Nine of Pentacles upright is the wish fulfillment. Somebody look good, smell good, very grounded, have her stuff together, been through a lot in life, but have made it, you know, look good, not jaded. You know, upright is somebody who listens to they. They guides and they gatekeepers and they very tapped into the universe. But you guys, the energy here is like you, you, you like. Some of you think you're better than other people. That's what people think. With this Ace of Wands and this Nine of Pentacles, it's like you think you're better than other people. I'm gonna come off for that energy. With this Two of Pentacles and then the Fool and the King of Cup, uh, King of Pentacles, the energy is here. Your reputation is. You are somebody who bets on yourself every time. You could juggle a lot of things. You could have a lot of a lot of stakes in one little piece of fire. You could have, prime example, you could have like three business plans, five business plans, six business plans you're working on at one time. You probably weigh it down to like one or two ideas, but you somebody who have an infinite ability. You could just manifest. You're somebody who is very creative. You are somebody that's very flexible. You go with the flow of life. You know how to balance your emotions. You're emotionally even kilt. Because I didn't want that to be all negative. That was just getting very, very, very negative. Some of you could be impulsive when it comes to business deals, but you always seem to make the right decision with the fool. You're very adventurous. You're very optimistic as well. You're somebody that's very grounded and somebody stable, but you also have somebody that's very optimistic, somebody's impulsive, somebody that likes adventure. So you're balanced in your energies. Now you have the Knight of Coins over here with the world. Now I'm going to clarify this before, because let's clarify that first. Clarify this Knight of Pentacles, Page of Swords. Some of you have the reputation of being in situations, even though you don't want to be there, you there, because it's something like you feel a responsibility to be there. But this is kind of like immature energy with the Knight of Pentacles and then the Page of Swords. This is like you don't, you have an immature way of thinking. You don't think maturely. You're not emotionally mature. You're not mature as a person. So... For some of you guys, you are um, your reputation is somebody that's a man child. Whether you're a female or a guy, you like a man child. You somebody that's very chatty. You like to chat a lot. You like to gossip. You like to talk behind people back. It's like some of you always care about what you can get, what you're getting out of a situation. You always trying to benefit from people. It's like you try to take, but you don't try to give. For some of you. And this goes with this stuff not being good enough for you and stuff like that. Clarify this world. What is the reputation for Pal 2? Clarify this world for me. Have the page of wands now. The page of the the world is somebody that's normally um closing out karmic cycles, somebody that is very successful after adversities, somebody that the universe looks out for you always it's like somebody who have good luck some of you like to gamble as well with the page of wands in the world 
Because the Page of Wands, again, is like immature energy, it's young energy. Some of you, your reputation is, some of you like to travel a lot, or you have um, a lot of relationships. Your relationships could be in your community or in other communities. It's like you are a type of person that likes to, you, you rule by your penis for some of you. It's your reputation. I'm going to start clarifying this. Uh, clarify this page of wands. What is page of wands reputation? Double life. Yeah, when I said the world. Like you have relationships across the world. You got children in different places. You could be a, a cancer. But you live in a double life. Some of you have a relationship across the, um, across the water. And people don't know about this relationship. Or the person you in a relationship don't know you have somebody. That's across the water. Prime example, if you come from the islands, but you live in the States, you have somebody in the islands. You live in a double life. Some of you, your reputation is that you like the same sex. Or you like transgenders. Clarify the Ace of Wands. What is Pile Two's reputation? You have Scandalous and you have Rendezvous. Can't make this shit up. What is this? Temptation. Scandal, rendezvous, temptation. Some of you are like the bidden fruit, forbidden fruit, with this ace of wands. Yeah, but this is your reputation. You live a double life. You have, like to have rendezvous. You like to travel and have rendezvous. You see that hat, the drink. That's an island scene in the background. And you scandalous. Some of you like the same sex, because even this female have... um lipstick on her face like a, another female kissed her so yeah you live in a double life so people know you live in a double life if you live in a double life and you see this snake here you looked at somebody that is very like a snake in the grass because you see how this temptation is looking at the the snake looking at that female yeah some of you are uh, your reputation is you hard to get and you're emotionally detached you don't pay attention to to toxic people or you don't or you somebody that's emotionally detached and hard to get close to emotionally but you out here with all these rendezvous and all of this so if you have gotten something from this like and or subscribe going off to pal three till next time at tower land pal three if you pick this deck and if you pick this lapis lazuli this is your reading shout out to you guys hope all is well with you hopefully you're enjoying your summer and hopefully this could be useful to you Shout out to my subscribers, new and old. What's poppin'? And if you're a visitor, welcome. Returning visitors, welcome back. So, the title today is, What is Your Reputation? Take what apply, leave the rest, and we're gonna jump right in it. You have the Three of Pentacles, you have the Moon, and you have the Ace of Cups. So, the reputation for you, you are somebody that's a good team player. People like to work with you. You're somebody who can take direction at your job, if you have a job, or if you have somebody that's authority of yours or higher than you, not authority of yours, but if somebody has authority over you and have to direct you, they think that you know how to do your job, you know how to listen, you're somebody that's easy to work with. If they give you a task to do, you know how to do it. If you, I'm gonna give you, cause this seems like I could give you for your job. So power three, this I'm gonna give you for across the board. For your job as well, um, your boss or your supervisor look at you like you're very smart. You like borderline genius. You have infinite abilities. You are somebody that brings creative ideas to the um, to the job. You always prepare. Some of you like to munch on sandwiches and stuff like that, or you could work in a sandwich shop. Some of you are the type of energy that can make lemons out of I mean a lemon stand, a real like lemon stand out of lemons. Like you could create a business out of any and everything. Some people, your reputation, they think if you're a female, they look at your back like it's like a, 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 a genie or, you know, like a, how can I say? Yeah, it's like a genie in there. You just pull all type of things out. You have everything. Say, for instance, if it's like summertime right now, you know, you have those little uh, washcloths that are um, folded down to size. You have to put water on it and it pops out to be a washcloth. Say, for instance, you have that. You have, you always have everything. If somebody needs it, you have it. If somebody hungry, you have snacks. 
Some of you are um, the reputation for you guys as well with this moon, the page of pentacles, and this three of pentacles. You have a reputation for doing spell work in a coven. It's like you in a coven with people and, and you guys go away in the moon on full moons and, and do spell work together. And you do spell work to do this spell work is not for the good. It's it's for the, the it's for bad. Some of you have um the reputation of being a con artist. You like to con people and you like to manipulate people. Some of you could be a Cancer. You could be a Pisces. You could be a Virgo. You could be a Capricorn. Some of you are also known to be an individual or individuals, whether you're a man or female, that have people anxiety when it comes to offering you love. They get very stressed out. They anxiety. They can't sleep. Some of them, um, if they've been in a relationship with you and they've done you bad, these people can't eat. They can't sleep. Karma beating them. They don't know why they did this day in their head, like why they did this. Some of them having nightmares for the ones that do spell work and you know y'all doing spell work. You have a reputation for returning spell work to people and having them in a nightmare. So anybody who try to do spell work on you, they life start crashing and burning. You also have a reputation of people not understanding how you protect it, how you so strong, how you have so much willpower. But behind you are your guides with this moon. They try to figure that out. Some of you are popular loners. You're always by yourself, but you're mighty and strong. Um, what else can I get from this? Hold on real quick. I was going to start pulling out cards, like, because to save time, but then I said I must stop. But I clarified the moon. Some of you have shady morals. People think that you have straight shady morals with this moon, and this is why I stopped, because I don't want y'all to think that I'm intentionally making this toxic like that. But, yeah, some people think you don't have no morals. Your morality is, like... Is questionable. Clarify this moon and this morals. What is pal threes? It says sex with you. Will you choose me? So yeah, your morals when it comes to sex is is questionable. Some of you do sex magic. Y'all do moon magic, sex moon magic is your reputation. People know that you do these things with this page of pentacles and this moon with the morals and what I just said. I'll show you. Yeah, that's, that's spell work. And then it backfires on some of you guys and y'all anxiety. Clarify this nine of wands. What is the reputation for pal three? What is their reputation? Ooh. It says, there is someone else. You make me do bad things. So, and I want a fresh start. So, the reputation for you guys with this nine of wands is like, Y'all feel wounded behind relationships. Y'all don't have the best relationships. Y'all in comic relationships. And y'all on comic cycles. Some of you are sexually immature. Some of you don't have control of your own life either. It's like you immature and you blame things on other people. I lie awake thinking about our future. Check this shit out. And I was just about to clarify it. And it says, I dream and wish for everything. I just want space. You matter. So your reputation is you lost, lost a love that you really want to be with. Like and subscribe. Till next time.